Hi, I'm Val Kennedy, the biotechnology reporter for MarketWatch here in Boston, and I'm here with Edward Lamphere. He's the chief executive officer of Sangamo Biosciences. Mr. Lamphere, thank you for being with us. Thanks, Val. Your stock is up over 100% over the past um, few months. Uh, what do you attribute this to? I think it's uh, the expectations investors have for the coming year, the clinical data that will be coming out. For what products in particular? So two major programs. Our most advanced program is a neuroregenerative drug that we're testing in a phase 2B trial in diabetic neuropathy. And that's the pain that's associated with diabetes? So there's the pain associated with diabetes. Our drug is actually trying to reverse the nerve loss, mm -hmm. so a neuroregenerative drug. And that's in a phase 2B trial. And we just announced the completion of the accrual of that trial and we'll have data out of that in the second half of this year. And the other clinical program is a novel approach in HIV, mm -hmm. and we have data, preliminary data, coming out of the phase one trials there in two weeks. So I think it's really the data, the clinical data coming out of those two programs the that's been driving investor interest, exactly. Uh, now let's talk about the HIV program mm -hmm. because there's been quite a bit written on it. Mm -hmm. And um, I was reading some articles today about it, and they, some experts are saying that it could really possibly be a cure for HIV. Is that an overreaching statement or uh, what, what do you hope to that the therapy can do. Right. I think the characterization I'd give Val is a, a functional cure, meaning the ability to create a compartment of the immune system mm -hmm. that is protected, cannot be infected by the virus, but is actually capable of mounting an antiviral immune response as well as responding to any of the opportunistic infections that cause the AIDS uh, component of HIV. So that's really our goal in, in, this, in this therapeutic approach. Uh, so can we explain how your therapy works I sure. mean, in layman's terms? Sure, sure. What we have is a technology that allows us to target a gene inside an immune system cell, shut off permanently the expression of that gene, and in so doing, create a block to the virus. The virus mm -hmm. can't get into the cell any longer. It's the specific nature of our technology that just shuts off that one gene, the so-called CCR5 mm -hmm. receptor, but leaves that T cell intact to be able to amount an antiretroviral effect or an antiviral effect. So it's a, a very specific approach, keeping those cells protected from HIV, but can still uh, be an immune response to the virus. How far along are you in testing this? So we're in phase one, two mm -hmm. phase one clinical trials, which is the earliest phase of, of clinical testing, primarily focused on safety, so the safety of these modified cells. But we'll also be looking at how these cells traffic, meaning how do they move around in the patient? Do they behave like normal immune system cells? And do they create any kind of protection for the rest of the immune system? And those are some of the preliminary data that we'll be presenting, our collaborators will be presenting in two weeks at this CROI conference. Now, if the phase one trials are successful. How long would it take, do you think, to bring this to the point where the FDA might consider approving it? Well, it's a long process, as you know. The, the process after phase one is to move into a phase two trial. Mm -hmm. We're going through in these phase one trials looking at a broad spectrum of the disease severity, and that will really help us understand where this drug initially can be the most effective. Once we've determined that, then we will design the phase two trials, which are really intended to develop both the optimal dose and the optimal endpoints, and ultimately then you move into large phase three trials. So uh, it's an extensive testing process of both safety and efficacy. Could it take 10 years? It can take a long time. I don't think uh, you know, I'd at this point talk about exact timelines, but it can take a long time. And the goal of the therapy is? To actually create a functional cure. So mm -hmm. in, in this case, a compartment of the immune system that's protected from being infected by the HIV virus, but can turn around and actually destroy the virus. And so ultimately that would create a, a patient who does not have to continue to take uh, retroviral therapy and the, the drugs, the heart therapy. Well, thank you so much yeah, for thanks, being Val. with us and discussing uh, the progress that you're making in HIV research. We really appreciate it. Thank you. From Boston, I'm Val Kennedy for MarketWatch.